Mrs. Hooper. Hello, Susan. I made you a pie. Oh, wow. Why? Do I need a motive to do something nice? I can't wait for you to try this. It's mincemeat. Actually, I just had dinner. That's okay. You can save it for later. <laughs> What's so funny? I was just thinking of that expression, I'll make mincemeat out of you. Mincemeat used to be an entree made up of mostly chopped meat, so it was like saying, I'll chop you up into little bits. <laughs> but that was centuries ago. Today, mincemeat is mostly made up of fruit, spices, and rum. There's no meat in it, and still people say, I'll make mincemeat out of you. I don't know that people really say that anymore. I do. So, Susan, how are you? I'm fine. Good. You know, I have a confession to make. I've always wished I'd have been more supportive when Carl left you. Oh, you don't have to apologize about Carl. I'm... Really, Carl and I are over. I've moved on. Yes, I know. You've moved on to that nice Mike Delfino. He's quite a catch, isn't he? You like him, don't you? Uh, sure. As a friend. Oh, Susan. Being coy is a strategy best employed by virgins at their first dance. For women of our age, it's just annoying. Are you sure you don't want pie? No, thank you. I hope it works out with you and Mike. You've been so desperate to land him. Why? Well, I am not desperate. Oh, good Lord, Susan. You burned your rival's house down. If that isn't desperate, I don't know what is. Mrs. Hooper, with all due respect, you're crazy. What's that? I think you recognize it. I found it in the ruins of Edie's home. Well, that's not... Shh, 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 shh. My point is this. I wasn't there for you when Carl left, but I'm here for you now. As far as I'm concerned, this is our secret. And no one ever need know. Oh, Susan. You don't know how good it feels to finally be able to help you. You look so pale. Now, I insist you try some of my pie. Go on. Did I mention it's mincemeat?